What is up Android fans? It is Eric for Mobile back again with another video. Now, uh, today I wanted to break a little bit from my typical videos. Anyone who's subscribed to this channel knows that I typically have just done ROM review videos, but I wanted to branch out and do some app reviews for you guys. Because if there's one thing that I like to do as much as flashing new ROMs on my phone, it is checking out new and updated apps. So guys, let's jump right into it. Today, the app I wanted to do for you uh, isn't necessarily the sexiest pick for an app, but um, I want to do a review on a gallery app, and that app is called Quick Pick. And the reason I want to do a review on a gallery app is because um, typically I just don't like the gallery apps in most phones that come stock, whether it's Samsung or HTC or LG, um, even stock Android, I just don't really like the look and the options of the stock gallery. As well as in Android 5.0 Lollipop, um, they have taken out the gallery and now all the pictures are handled through the Google Plus Photos app, um, which I'm not a huge fan of either. So um, it's good to have options to be able to go in the Play Store and get a third party um, gallery app. So here we go. Like I said, I want to do it on Quick Pick. It's by a developer uh, that goes by the name of Q Supreme Team. Uh, it is a free download on the Play Store, so definitely worth checking out at least. And it's recently been updated to version 4.0, and what that did is they have added in the ability to change the theme of the gallery, as well as they've added in a bunch of cloud support um, for different accounts. You can add in your Google account, um, choose from any of the provided ones here, and add an account. Um, so you have the ability to back up your apps directly to the cloud. Um, so let's jump right into what makes this app so good. First of all, I really like the lollipop and simple design of the app. Um, you're just prevent, uh, presented with all of the folders on your phone. And one thing I really like is you have the ability to go into this, um, sorry, to this um, little grid up here and select it and you can change how your folders are presented. So by default right now I have it set to the stack, which shows the top picture and then a little preview of the, you know, the pictures underneath. This is how the default view looks, each of your folders. Um, there's the grid view, which is kind of cool. It kind of blows out each of your folders and shows you what's in each of them a little more detailed. And then you have the list view, um, you know, which is kind of more reminiscent of older versions of Android. So, uh, so there's that one. And then you can have an explorer where you can go through and dive into the files on your phone and search for pictures, um, you know, that may be elsewhere on your storage. I really like the stack view, um, you know, it's a good look, but it's just nice to have options as far as how you want your folders and pictures to be presented. Um, next, if we jump into the settings, here's where you're able to change everything in the gallery. So under general is where you're going to have um, your theming abilities as well as whether or not videos are included. So you can take out the videos from the gallery or leave them included. Um, but what's really nice is you can now theme your gallery with whatever color um, you would like. So right now I've got it with the blue with the white background. Um, you know, you can change it and then you can also add it to be a black background if you don't like so much white. Um, that's a really nice feature. I like to be able to change the look of my gallery and personalize it, you know. You can also split the action bar. So um, by default, when you're just looking at your... Um, folders up here they have all the settings up here at the top but if you go into the settings and you choose to split the action bar you check it there and go out back to your pictures it takes them away from the top and it adds them down here to the bottom so um, this is nice you know maybe if you have a smaller screen you don't want so much information smudged up here at the top you can add it to the bottom kind of cool look um, going back into the settings that was it pretty much it for general in here under browse is where you can dive in a little bit deeper to some of the options. So you can choose to hide the status bar from the gallery. So when you open up the gallery app, I'll show you what that looks like really quick. You check it and then you go back out to your pictures and it's more of an immersive mode. It hides that status bar. Um, I typically leave it enabled just because I like to be able to see what's going on. You can also come in and in include or exclude folders. So if you don't want, say for instance, your Instagram pictures to show up in your gallery, then you can take those out. Um, or if you'd like to add them back in, you can include that folder back in. Um, things as well as how the pictures are cropped, if you want it to crop as a square or horizontal, whatever fits best with what you're trying to crop the image for. Um, as well as different ways to sort the pictures, um, sort of numerically, stuff like that. 
And you can also set it to when you open up your gallery for it to open up the last folder that you are viewing instead of just a blown out image of all of your different folders. Back in the settings, if we go into the view settings, um, you can change your screen orientation. So you can have it default show up you know, in portrait or landscape mode when you open the app. You can view your pictures with a maximum screen brightness. So when you um, select a picture, your brightness will be turned all the way up um, or you can take that off. Auto hide the soft keys. So that will even further um, you know, give you an immersive feel. So that's when you're actually looking at a picture um, We'll look at a picture here of my cat. You know, the status bar and the software keys disappear. Um, you can choose to enable that or disable that. Obviously, right now it is enabled. Um, back under view, single tap to uh, zoom, force true color decoding, and grid pattern background. So more options just for viewing pictures. Um, changing the th the color decoding can take away from the image resolution, as it says right there. So use that, um, you know, at your own discretion. Um, but it's nice to have that option. Uh, there is security options, so you can make the your gallery private. So you can add a password. So if somebody else were to pick up your phone and try to get into your gallery, they would have to enter a password to be able to see your photos. So if you want to keep your information more private, um, there's slideshow options. So when you you know get into your gallery and select slideshow, you can select how long it takes for each picture to come up, what the screen transition is, um, stuff like that. In the new 4.0 update for Quick uh, Pick, they have added cloud backup options. So um, you can select when you're on your Wi-Fi to automatically back up your images to the cloud. I'm not um, connected to my Wi-Fi right now. But so it's a lot like the Google um, Plus Photos app where you take pictures and when you connect to your Wi-Fi at home or wherever, it'll automatically back up those pictures to the cloud. And that's pretty much it for Quick Pick, guys. Um, just a quick review on the app. Uh, I really like it just because of the different options it allows you to have as far as theming the app and how things are displayed and viewed. Um, it's a really clean look, really material looking. I really like that a lot. Anyone who subscribed to my channel, I will be uh, continuing to post ROM reviews, but I'm also going to be putting up these app reviews. So if you like the app reviews, you know, give the video a thumbs up. I'm gonna keep posting them. Um, I'm gonna post it on apps that I like to use and apps that I think you know, enrich the uh, usability of Android. So that's it for this video, guys. I appreciate you checking out my channel. If you're new, please subscribe. Um, we'll see you guys on the next one.